This episode was directed by Clark Gregg. So fun fact of the day, if you didn't know that, I don't, I don't know. Oh, we're seeing someone new. This guy we met briefly like two episodes ago. Ah, Fitz, Fitz and Enoch. I hope we see like more of Enoch throughout this entire season. I hope he doesn't just pop off at the end of this episode. Ah, someone's a bit together again! Oh, that little exhale. Is Gemma Simmons. Gemma, it's me. Don't turn around. She can't hear him! Actually, oh, I, I love torture. I'm stronger than any curse. Oh. You and I, we are unstoppable together. Oh my god! This hoits my heart. So Gemma Simmons, will you marry me? Oh my! Uh! She can't. Boo! She can't hear you. When your sleeves can't. Thank you, Fitz. I'm so glad I found that like right there, and not like you know ten minutes down the line. Whew. Oh, there it goes. Flint's changing. I wonder what power she's gonna have. Oh shit! No, nope, he just like. Oh, he, and he's not dead, is he? No. He must have grown like. What? Is he invisible? Maybe. <gasps> so Cassius's father, basically, he basically Cassius is the black sheep in the family. It seems like the. Which is basically the same thing for a mind reader. Kick, you know, kick you off, do whatever, minuscule stuff while your brother gets all the glory. So fear is essential. Again, do it. Dude, he's so good! Visualization helps make it sort of game. It's all very efficient, really. Shit! Much like the fat mouth slipping them down. Oh, wow! I just can't get over him. He's just incredible. Uh, this will be the entire reaction. It'll just be me being like, whoa! Huh? You mean this guy? <laughs> He's just cool. Look, Oh, that was really cute. This deadly assassin was trained by one of the galaxy's most despised organizations. No, 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 no. But most intriguing. No, no, are you freaking kidding me? To the destroyer of worlds. Their guests. May, damn it, she better be all fine with her let. Nope, she still has that band around her leg. And she's real limping. Great, awesome. Oh, come on, May. She does not deserve to be more beat up. I didn't really like Cassius at the beginning, but the more I'm learning about him, I'm. He just seems like obviously a bad guy, but someone. I don't know. I, I don't hate him as much. Oh, got a hit! That is a great story. Pretty sure Cassius is gonna want to hear that. Oh, no! Are you kidding me? Oh, no, Ben! Oh, this sucks! I liked him. Men he's picking up he was picking up rocks, minerals around grill. <laughs> yeah. The music's swelling behind them. You must hurry. There's a situation. Oh, they're just so close! Yes, Flint! Oh Yes! Telekinesis? Holy shit! Is Grill dead? They just, they just did, what? You're straight, just a flight. Ooh. Is she not your greatest warrior? You cower behind her as though she is. Oh, Sonara might die. Misjudged. Seek father's approval. And this might send Cassius over the edge a bit. Of course. 
Because he's obviously infatuated with her. Wow. Maybe not. Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe Sonara is going to help the team out. I'm not sure. Oh my- It's Tess- They killed her because she wouldn't give up- What the hell is with everyone dying? Ben, Grill, and now Tess. What the hell? <laughs> oh, she's so dead. It's gonna be a great fight, but she's so dead. Ooh! Ooh, yikes. Oh, come on, Daisy. Oh, nice. Oh, what a move. Oh! Hell yes! Oh! Oh my god! Come on! Oh no! Why did no one think? Gemma! Vince! Oh, yay! Oh my god! Oh, my heart, my heart, my heart! Everything's so good in this episode, everything's so good! Okay, everyone, that was season five, episode six of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I did not write anything down because I was kind of too, like, in, in like, inappered with the episode. But I'm pretty sure I remember everything. But at the beginning, we had Fitz, you know, obviously he's back and he was playing such an awesome bad guy. I mean, we saw it, obviously, in the framework, but him, like, faking that he's a bad guy and knowing that he's doing it and enjoy I mean not really enjoying it he wasn't enjoying it but like being able to play it and being able to understand his character or his alter ego which is a good I don't know uh from the framework and using it to his advantage was so freaking cool I just gotta get that over with also Fitzsimmons like they're Freaking, oh my goodness, they're the best. They're, oh, the whole, the fact that he went up to her and was like, Gemma, the universe keeps sp splitting us apart, but we keep f f crossing it to find each other. Let's get married, but she wasn't able to hear him, which, I don't know, but who cares? She asked him to marry her and the man, and he said yes, and they're officially engaged, because, obviously. Also, we had a surprising amount of deaths this episode, which I like, didn't expect to happen. Uh, Tess died because Flint, the inhuman boy that we knew, like, we got introduced to a couple of episodes ago, it was like a glimpse meeting, who has the power of telekinesis with rocks, apparently? I'm not sure, but Tess died because of her knowledge of where Flint is, which I thought she was going to be in it for the rest of this arc, but apparently not. Uh, or maybe this arc is coming to an end. I'm not sure. It's only episode six, and so much has happened. Also, Grill died, which that was crazy. Uh, what? Who else? Who else bit the bit the dust? Ben, also the mind reader and human, awesome dude. He bit the dust. Cassius almost did. He got his mouth thingy cut. I think that's what it was that Gemma did. Also, he has an imperfection now, which was funny because at the very beginning of the season, he was upset with that one guy that had the scar right here on his face or whatever, and he wasn't allowing imperfections. Now he's going to have one on his face, which, awesome job show. Um, what else? Uh, also, so much, like, so much happened in this episode. We had an amazing fight with, we also found out what happened with May. May and Ben great stuff. Uh, Sonara, who I totally thought was gonna die, had an amazing fight with Daisy. Uh, props to both of those actresses for freaking killing it. Clark Gregg, you did spectacular, spectacular, major? spectacular. You're not watching this, but, you know, kudos. <laughs> um, 
But I did think that Sonara was going to die, and I thought Kasaias was going to be a little more upset about it, but apparently not. I think he's just so tired of being on this hunk of rock that he wants to get out, and he wants to get his father's approval. It kind of reminds me of the framework fits. I mean, not as, like, you know but still kind of just wanting his father's approval and everything like that, which is interesting. I don't hate Cassius. I don't think I hate him. I just think, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why I don't hate him. I should hate him. Maybe it's because there's, I feel like there's a greater evil besides him. I don't know. Is that weird to think that? Mm. But I'm excited for next week. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen because Enoch at the very end, he was like Im impersonating a Cree to get somewhere and I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Everyone's kind of like running right now. Like it's a very like climactic episode. I don't know. Will we go to the surface next time? Will we go to Earth? Predictions. Okay, everyone. Thank you for watching. If you want to see my previous reaction, I'll have to just click the link in the description. As always, I'll see you next time.